Hey guys, what is up? This is Squamamo here, and today I am, uh, well, I'm just doing an unboxing of this router, which is a TP-Link router. Uh, like, it, it's not a modem, it's just a router. It's got speeds up to 300 Mbps, and, um, well, yeah, I just, well, well, I just keep talking about it. It's got two antennas and or two antennae i don't know and uh right now this is uh, not my first unboxing i've done many other unboxings before and the links will be given in the description or as the cards on the right you can just check that out and let me tell you guys this is the worst way to cut plastic it's like you're mincing meat here uh, so don't don't do that don't do that there are other better ways to do that but um I'll tell you guys, tell you what guys, this is something new because this is the first time I actually, I'm actually using a tripod uh, while recording my videos, uh, which I rarely do because, well, it's just recent that I've got a tripod stand for myself. And anyways, this is the modem TP-Link, it's considered to be the world's number one modem, it's a wireless N router, 300 Mbps as I said earlier, and um... Well, if you guys didn't realize, this is a voiceover, so I've already done, recorded this video a long time ago, and now I'm just, like, just doing a voiceover, basically. And, um, so, I've already, I've already used this, and it's, it's just, it's just really great, it's a really good, it's a really good router, I have no complaints at all, and because of this router, I can now do, uh, well, a lot of like more Twitch, you know, live streaming and stuff like that. I was probably even go on uh, start live streaming on YouTube too uh, after a few months, maybe. Because right now I'm a bit busy. Don't really think I can live stream, uh, but I guess I guess I find live streaming much better because uh, well the time like you don't have to do any editing and stuff like that. So. But uh, I'm not going to talk about that this time. Uh, this is the Ethernet cable. I just took out the Ethernet cable that I got was a uh, had a little bit problem. I'll tell you that later. But these are the contents. It's got a CD-ROM, tech support, installation guide, router, Ethernet cable, and a power cable. Now, first of all, let's just open the router up. You know, it's got a cover behind saying uh, uh, quick installation guide and stuff like that. Um, you don't really need to read the quick installation guide because it comes with that CD-ROM to the, you know, that left uh, blue color CD. You can just use that to install, uh, install most, most of the stuff can be just m done automatically using that CD because it comes with the software. Now, there are four ports, like LAN ports, and one, two, which is the main thing which comes up from the uh, modem and these are the icons uh, which have green lights they don't have they're not multicolor leds but who cares it's just all green and the two antenna you can see as you can see over there and that's that's just it, it looks exactly how it is in the picture see uh it's got a power button it's got something to reset the wps and stuff like that i don't know much about wps uh, or, or any kind of those inscription stuff that's a quick installation guide uh guide but it's not not really required, and uh, well, there there is a backside to it, which I I mean there was something behind too, but I wasn't able to show it in this video for some apparent reason. I I actually realized it like while just after I finished recording, I actually realized it, but uh, you, that's not really important. So it just shows how you should connect it and stuff like that. So you know from the modem, which por which part goes to the input AC mains and stuff like that so just throw it away because instructions are for noobs and uh, that's the power cable or the power cord that comes with it just unscrew it like that not as I unscrew it but it's it's not too long but at least for me it suits my purpose because uh, it's pretty close to my uh, I keep it really close to the AC mains or the plug point 
and because the plug point is next to a window through which the ethernet cable from the modem downstairs comes okay so this is me switching onto the laptop and uh, just showing you how I actually can oh shit I uh, and let me just show you the okay yeah so that 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 gray wire which I'm gonna put in the blue port is uh, from the modem downstairs and uh, so now I'm just gonna connect to the TP link for four to four six two six that's the thing and it says you to enter the network security key but uh, I didn't know I didn't know what the network security key was but I I'm pretty sure I found it on the box. It was either on the box or on the software. Once you start the software, and once uh, like it just tells you what, so like it comes. Just put in the CD. It tells you all all that weird stuff. So, mm, where was it? Yeah, there was something in the CD. So right now, I just put it in and I'm going to the README. Yeah. I'm actually reading a readme for the first time and that's where it gives you the m model number and it just tells you how to go about so first you have to do click on auto run and once you've got that it takes you to the setup wizard so you just say browse CD oh but wait before that sorry not browse CD you have to click on the, the right version of your router and my right wo mine was the Four and something like that. I think it was the one on the right. Yeah. yeah, click on it. Click on it. Easy setup assistant. Assistant. And I just powered it on. Like this was before. Not. It's not currently happening because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see that TP and stuff. Okay, so come on, man. I don't know why why it took so long. So click on it. I guess I was like thinking what to do and stuff like that. But I don't know. Uh, come on, just go. Easy service is finally it's coming, and it's going to basically uh, open this PDF file. And whoa, whoa, that was bad camera movement over there. And that's actually that's where they give the pass, the network security key, or the default password, and the contents. But uh, again, that's that's not important. All you have to do is just go to the main software and uh, this is just telling you what what everything indicates and stuff like that which again is not important not really important I mean it's a, it's all just basic shit and yeah but this this part I guess is important it tells you to connect to how to connect to the router first you have to um, you have to power off your CPC okay, blah 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 adjust the direction normally upright is good direction connect the PC blah 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 so again, now all we need to find is the IP address to that stuff. See, it's given out there. IP address is 192.168.0.0.1, and it tells you that there are two ways to do it. You can do it manually by going uh, by just copying this and pasting it onto your uh, onto your web browser. And uh, the default address, I mean the default username and password, was admin admin. Kind of stupid, but yeah, whatever. So, but uh, that's that's not important. You could just do it f automatically from mm, from the software that they've given you. The easy installation guide. Like how hard is it? Just use that. Just freaking use that. That's all. That's all you need. See? Yeah, there it is. Welcome to TP-Link Easy Setup Assistant. Now just choose your language, connect the router to the computer, which is already done. Using the Ethernet cable, that's that's something important. So, the diagram's given over there, so you should probably use the Ethernet cable which is given uh, to you. But I didn't do that because I was a thug and uh, I just used another Ethernet cable because uh, apparently there was a problem with the, with the Ethernet cable that they gave. A part of it was chipped off, uh, which was which is why it was really difficult to remove it from the from your from any uh, port or any any RJ45 cable port. Well, it just keeps it just keeps saying this blue port to this port. So your thing with the cable which is coming from the modem should be connected to the blue port, 
uh, that's the most important thing. Otherwise, it's just stupid. I mean, wireless LAN isn't so cool. Look, wired LAN is the best thing. And then these are just the LED instructions. As I said, it was already there in the PDF. And that was just stupid. So, uh, you don't you don't really need all this stuff, except you probably just need to know the wireless LAN and the LAN part of it. The flashing and the on part of it. That's all. That's all you need to know. And um, I think I think I messed up with the editing. Like big time mess up with the editing. Uh, this is this is just bad. I I didn't really expect it to be so bad. Should have probably. Uh, it's okay, it's just a small part of the screen. Anyways, it's checking the router's connectivity. It says network cable, network adapter enabled, checking network status, and it's gonna take some time. But, uh, I'll be back, I guess. Or I guess not. Yeah, I guess, I guess I should be back after, after some, after some time. I'll be, I'll be back. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Okay guys, I'm back and uh, I found out, like, i just here to tell you the problem that uh, the reason why I wasn't able to successfully connect and configure the router uh, actually I did configure the router but it's just not able to connect to the uh, internet via the router because of the the problem with the that wire coming from my modem actually uh, so it's see it's it's all fine. It was all working fine. Everything was connected ro properly, but then, then what I realized was that uh, the problem was why, why am I why did I, why did I include that shot? Anyways, the problem was that gray wire which is connected to the blue port, and as you can see, everything was working. Everything looked fine. Like I, for a second, I thought there was a problem with the modem, but then where's the snap? Where's the snap of the Okay, yeah, here it comes. Bam! So that was the problem. The blue, the blue port, the wire co connected from the modem downstairs. That was the only reason. Okay, so that was it, guys. If you guys like this uh, unboxing, please hit the like button. If you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys bought this product and if you want me to tell something about it, just put it in the comment below and I'll reply to it as fast as possible. And again, thanks for watching.